about a million years in the early Pleistocene epoch, from about 2.4 million to 1.4 million years ago, it was a really exciting time to be a hominin. Hominids, you'll recall, are the group of human ancestors that are more closely related to us than to chimps and bonobos. During this million year stretch, different branches of our evolutionary tree were flourishing all over southern and eastern Africa. And if we were to zoom in on the earliest part of this million years, we'd encounter a familiar face, or at least a somewhat familiar face, the face of Homo habilis. It stood just over a meter tall and had a slightly larger brain and smaller teeth than its earlier relatives, the Australopithecines. But it still had longer arms and a protruding lower face, traits that are usually considered more basal in the hominin lineage. And yet, this ancestor probably made and used stone tools. In fact, Homo habilis means handyman, and its discoverers gave it that name because they thought that it was responsible for the many tools that had been found near its remains. But does this hominin really belong in our genus, the genus Homo? Was it more like us than its earlier ancestors? 